Welcome to this video. This is my old mid 2014 MacBook Pro with a 2.8 GHz i5 processor and 8 GB of RAM and an enormous SSD of 128 GB, which has been full for the last 6 years. In this video, I'll be giving my MacBook one last life extending upgrade. The upgrade includes a new battery, a 1TB SSD and a new thermal paste on the CPU cooler. All of this while cleaning my Mac. I am using this MacBook daily since I bought it new in 2015. I'm considering upgrading to a M1 or M2 MacBook for over a year now and have bought an M1 iPad Pro in the meantime. But the iPad isn't really what I thought it should be, a real MacBook alternative. Unfortunately for me and my usage, it isn't a real alternative for my MacBook. Let me know in the comments below if you have an iPad and are using it as a MacBook alternative and if it works for you or not. And if it works, how? And if it doesn't work, why not?
Unfortunately, I forgot a crucial part of making a video. I didn't press the record button. This isn't the factory thermal paste. I changed it already in 2019. Here I'm using some 99% isopropyl alcohol to clean the copper heatsink quickly. When we look at the CPU fan, it isn't a surprise that my MacBook did heat up quite a bit. It's getting hotter with the day and even the underside of the MacBook wasn't touchable anymore. Please don't tell me how I should have applied the thermal paste. For me, it is not rocket science. I just needed some new thermal paste that didn't dry. SSD upgrade, I bought an M.2 adapter from Amazon. I also bought a crucial P3 1TB SSD. The adapter is working fine, but the crucial P3 doesn't work in these MacBooks. When you order an SSD, always buy one with only 4 pins and not 5. I'll show you which SSD I used later in the video, because Amazon said it wouldn't work, but it did. bought a new battery from Amazon for only 50 euros. My old battery had 870 complete charge cycles and was really on its last legs and didn't last for more than 20 minutes.
After mounting the new battery, it was time to put the speakers back in the case and attach all remaining cables and brackets and screws. Time to give the screen a quick clean and test if everything works. But unfortunately the SSD didn't work. I bought another SSD, this time a Western Digital Blue SN570 and it worked great. After installing all my programs and testing the MacBook, it runs a lot cooler than before. It runs now at 40 or 45 degrees Celsius during normal use. Before, this was around the 70, 75 degrees Celsius mark. The battery lasts a really long time. At least it feels like it does. I don't have to worry about the charger every 20 minutes anymore. The SSD works great. I didn't do a benchmark on the old SSD, but it feels so much faster now. Thank you for watching this video, and please consider subscribing to support me and this channel. It would be much appreciated.